Hello, today we are going to talk about lists in an HTML document. A list can be useful if you're giving instructions or something like that. So we can go, we can start with an audit list. To the, or an unaudit list, I, I'm sorry. To declare an unaudit list, you're going to type UL. And right here, in the middle here, is our list. To include a list item, we're going to go LI. That is our list item thing. You can see we have a little bullet that appeared here. Let's talk about maybe up here. I can go ahead and give it a heading. So I'll go H1 for heading, which I already talked about in the first lesson, I believe. Uh, pizza ingredients. Or pizza materials, because ingredients is a hard word to spell. <laughs> you can go sauce. L I. Uh, we can go pepperoni. Because we. Pepperoni is not terrible. Why did Google Translate appear up there? Well, probably because pepperoni is an Italian word. Uh, we need cheese. And we need mm, meat. Just meat. So there you go. And can I, like, disable you? Peach is not in Italian. Fine, always translate. I don't care. Page is not in Italian. Um, I don't know. English? Just leave me alone. Can I disable you? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> okay. But there you go. That is an unaudit list. Now we can go aud audit list. You can type O L. This is going to be an audit list. We can go ahead and make a heading. We can go, how to make a pizza. It's going to be our heading here. We're going to go list item like usual. This will automatically order them numerically. numerically. We can go one, make the dough. List item, put on the top. Beans. Put in the oven. Cut. Enjoy. Now, we can also make an alphabeticalized audit list. So to do this, we can go, let's go how to make a pizza again. It's gonna be instead of one, two, three, it's gonna be like ABC. So we're gonna go audit list, except here, we're gonna go space type equals A. So now instead of going one, two, three, it'll go ABC. Single list item. Make the dough. In fact, we can just go copy all of this because it's the same thing. And you can see it will go A, B, C, D, E. Really, it can be useful in some things. Now, we can go a description list. We can go, I'm going to make the header. Web development languages. And go DL for description list. We will go description DT for the, I believe it's like description title or something like that. HTML. DD for, for the description of it. We can think of HTML. This adds, or we can go. This is the foundation and walls of a website. Go DT CSS. DD. This is the paint and curtains of a website. DT. JavaScript. Dd. 
this is the pipes, plumbing, and AC of a website. That's how we can kind of think of it as if it's in our house. So now you can see here how it will, you'd see how it gives you a description of each item. What you might want to do is you just go like this in front of all of these. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. It's up to you how you want to do it though. The last type of list we're going to talk about is nested lists. That's basically a list inside of a list. I misspelled sauce. <laughs> now I know how many people notice that. <laughs> so, we can go meat, for example. We can go under it, we can go UL. We're gonna make a list inside of the list. So we can go list item, beef, list item, sausage, come on, list item, what's another one, pork, I don't know, so you can see that is a nested list, it is a list inside of another list, so there you have it, those are lists in HTML.